Okay, so in this video we are going to quickly demonstrate and talk about the revolution slider and uh, where you actually find that and how to access it in your um, Cornerstone editor and also how to actually turn that on and off and insert that into a page within your site. To uh, quickly review, this is the Kingdom template and when we refer to the revolution slider what we're talking about is this right here at the very top of the home page. So this entire uh, item that you see here is the revolution slider. So what we're going to do is, for instance, we're going to say that we want to turn this off. So we're going to quickly show you where that setting is. And we are already logged into our site. So what we're going to do is come up here and click the edit with cornerstone option. And that is going to bring up the visual editor. And once we get in there, we're going to see our options on the left, and of course on the right is our live site. And then up here on the top right of this column is a little gear icon. We're going to click that, and that is going to bring up some additional options, of which mostly you will never really um, need to change anything in here. But if you do need to change the uh, slider, you have this slider settings above masthead option. So we're going to click that and currently you will see it is set to Revolution Slider Church Home. So if we do want to turn that off, just click the drop down and choose Deactivated. And then we come down here and click Save. And once that's save, uh, it'll automatically refresh and it will now show you that the top Revolution Slider is turned off. So we will just have the home page now with nothing above um, this line here. So if you remember the slider did appear above this line here. So uh, you could also put it down below. You see this setting here. Let's just say for example we wanted to put it below. So we'll choose slider church home. Choose save. And it again will refresh only this time when it comes back it will show that the slider is turned on. Um, but in this case it is below the masthead and when you uh, hear masthead um, think of it being from this bar to the navigation section so there is our slider and if we wanted to view it we will click home and click view page but I'm gonna do it in a new tab so I don't have to keep coming back to this window so now we view it and see our masthead is at the top but now the slider is below it so we are actually going to put it back. We're going to turn um, turn this to deactivated for below and come up here to above and choose that slider so it goes back above the masthead. We're going to choose save and again it is going to save and then refresh to uh, put those settings into effect. So now we will have our um, slider back above the masthead where it originally was. So that is how to access the slider and turn it on and off. And now real quick, what we want to show you is if you go to your dashboard, uh, when you're logged in on the left hand side, if you come all the way down, you will see a slider revolution option. So we click that and that's going to take you into the slider plugin. And that is where you will see our current um, and only church home slider. So you can certainly come in here and create additional sliders and there is actual um, an actual video for that um, that is referenced in our um, documentation for the Kingdom template. So we're not really going to go into that, but this is where all your current sliders will appear after you've created more than one. And the last item we want to talk about, if we go back to our um, Cornerstone editor where we were, is for example we're going to say that we wanted to actually insert this slider into a portion of one of our pages so all we need to do for that is we have to come over here um, first we need to decide where we want to put it so we'll just say for example um, we wanted to put it down here in this welcome section so what we're going to do is we're going to click on the actual section itself and then we need to come over here to manage layout and currently you'll see that there's only the one row of this section which encompasses the title, text, and button. So we're going to add a second row. And just for this instance, we're just going to say that we want to put that slider right there below this information. 
So all we need to do is click here on our elements icon and then just search for revolution slider. And that will come up and simply drag it to that new row we created. And because we only have that one slider currently, um, it'll be selected by default. But if you did have additional ones, you could click the drop down and they would all appear in this drop down, allowing you to select uh, which one you want it to appear. So that one is selected and then we can click save. And it will now reflect on our current site. So what I'm going to do is refresh. And that is going to show and one thing to keep in mind, um, because this slider is the only one we have currently, it is set to be full screen. So while we inserted it into that section, it's still going to be forced to be full screen, as you see here. So it is within that section, but it is taking on the um, default size of being full screen. So that is why you are seeing it like that. Um, and all you need to do to change that is if, for example, um, we, you know, we wanted it to be contained like you see it here, we need to go into the slider revolution, we need to click on the slider itself, and when that loads, we will see uh, slider settings right here. So we're going to click that and just confirm that you want to change um, sections. And that will pull up the slider settings. We need to scroll down and you'll see slide layout. It's currently set to full screen. And watch these windows here as you choose your different options, you will see how it affects what it looks like. So full width is the full width of the entire section that it's in, whereas full screen is the entire um, the entire visible uh, area. So for this instance, we want auto because the auto will make it um, react to the container that it's in. So we're going to select auto. We're going to click save. And then we're going to come up here and we're going to refresh. We may need to clear out our cache, but let's refresh and see what happens. And we do need to clear. So I'm going to pause the video one second while I do that. Okay, so I've refreshed my settings. One more time, I'm going to refresh the live site. So now we have our um, uh, slider at the top, and we also have the slider down below that we added. So that is the difference in why, um, if it's full screen, it's going to be forced to be full screen, even though in our editor, we put it within this one row. So that's just a quick overview of those different settings and how um, to manipulate those to work as you want them to. I'm going to go ahead and put it back to full screen because we want it to be full screen at the top. Because as you see right now, because we changed it to that auto, it is not as large as it was. So we need to go ahead and put that back because we want that to stay full screen. Um, but some sliders you may create that don't need to be full screen that you want to have contained in a small section. And that is where um, these settings here will come into effect. And, uh, you know, it just depends on what type of slider you're going to create, whether it's um, an introduction slider or one that you want to be pretty dominant on your home page, or if it's just a small, maybe slideshow slider or something like that that doesn't need to take up the full width of the page. So that is just a quick overall of the Revolution slider. And again, if you want to see the full tutorial on um, where it goes in depth of actually creating a slider and the different settings within that, um, you can go on over to our Kingdom Template documentation and there is actually a link to the YouTube video that uh, walks you through that Revolution Slider tutorial. Thanks for watching.